about four best friends. We set out on what was to be the best holiday of the year. The one we'd all worked and saved up for. The holiday that would make memories that would last forever. The holiday that was never to be. I'll give you a bit of context. We set out and stayed in a town nearby in Nice. The first two days was great. We went to the beach, we relaxed, we went out. The best holiday of the year was going to plan. Then came the third night, Bastille night. It was meant to be the best fireworks show in France, the funnest night, the best music, the best DJ sets around. So we went. We walked to the promenade, watched the fireworks, it was amazing. We bought cheap beers from the local shop, and we were just having fun, relaxing, having the best holiday of the year. Then we walked up from the beach, walked up onto the promenade. There was tons of people, shoulder to shoulder, we could hardly get the stairs. One of our friends waited for a lady in a pram to go before him. This might have saved our lives, as we then started walking to some live music along the promenade. Suddenly everyone started screaming and running, so we ran. We ran further and faster than I ever thought I could. Police running in the opposite direction with their guns. Fathers shielding their children and the rest of us running in the promenade being chased. We did not stop running. No one did. In sheer panic we ran straight up this hill right to the top, where we found others also hiding. One lady had lost her husband down on the promenade and she was imagining the worst. The others, they were from the Swedish military. They were just on holiday. It was a weird moment. It was a moment of instant unity. While scared and frightened, we all stuck together. We all started knocking on houses for somebody to let us in, and then one man did. He was our papillon. Whilst in his house, we couldn't find his light switch to turn the lights off, so we just took out all his light bulbs. We lied down the stairs and waited, called our families, and asked what was happening. Nobody knew, but it wasn't good. Eventually, we found out. A truck. A truck had ploughed into thousands of innocent people, killing 84 of them. We eventually went into his living room and just sat there in silence. Nobody knew what to say or what to do. The man who led us in. A tattoo of a papillon, French of butterfly, and he also had a shotgun. The only thing he had in his house to offer us was sugar cubes, but I guess it was better than nothing. He made us feel safe. We stayed there for around five hours until we got the go ahead from the police to leave. We went home luckily tucked away. Like 84 others that made it that day, we went home laid down so we prayed. We went back this year, a year on, to finish the best holiday of the year. To finish the holiday we once started. It was one with brilliant times but always a feeling of remorse and horrible memories that will never go away. This is a visual collage of a year on. France is not the same, it never will be, but it's on the mend. And I guess the reason I'm telling you this is, as a filmmaker, I'm also a storyteller. And all good stories come with a message. And the message is to love each other, to care for each other, as you never know what's around the corner. To make every second count because every second matters. This was a story about four best friends who weren't separated by terror, by hate, but now even closer than ever. We went home luckily tucked away, and like 84 others that never made it that day, we went home laid down so we prayed. <laughs>